Hey everyone, today, we're diving into the world of blue energy, a sustainable energy source with the potential to change how we power the world. Researchers at Osaka University have just made a breakthrough in controlling the flow of ions through nanopore membranes using voltage. This discovery could unlock new ways of harvesting blue energy efficiently. Let's break it down. Welcome to Trendstorm. Chapter 1. What is blue energy? First, let's talk about blue energy. It's a form of renewable energy that's generated when ions in saltwater move from areas of high concentration to low concentration. This flow of ions can generate electrical power, offering a promising alternative to fossil fuels. Imagine taking energy from the ocean, literally. As salt ions move through special membranes, we can capture that energy and convert it into electricity. But the challenge has always been controlling how those ions flow through the membrane. That's where this new research comes in. Chapter 2. The Breakthrough in Ion Control So. What did the researchers at Osaka University do? They focused on using voltage to control how ions move through a nanopore membrane. A nanopore is essentially a tiny hole that allows ions to pass through it. By applying voltage to a gate electrode embedded in the membrane, they could control the ion flow in a way similar to how transistors work in electronics. Pretty cool, right? Chapter 3. How it works. Normally, when you use a nanopore membrane made from a charged material, it naturally attracts ions with the opposite charge. For example, a negatively charged membrane attracts positively charged ions, known as cations, which creates a current as they move through the pores. This has been the main method of generating power with these membranes. But here's the tricky part. Finding the perfect material to build these membranes and creating the exact same pore structures to compare performance has been difficult. Instead of focusing on changing the material, the Osaka team decided to see what happens when they adjust the voltage. Chapter 4. Voltage Control and Results By applying voltage, the researchers discovered that they could fine-tune the movement of cations through the nanopores. In fact, they were able to completely control the flow, allowing cations to move through the membrane only when they wanted. This increased the efficiency of the process by six times. Without any voltage, cations wouldn't flow through the membrane because they were attracted to the negatively charged surface. But by adjusting the voltage, they could make the membrane selectively allow cations to pass, improving the overall energy generation process. Chapter 5. Boosting Osmotic Energy Efficiency This breakthrough led to a power density of 15 watts per square meter, a significant improvement in osmotic energy efficiency. This means that blue energy technology is now one step closer to being scaled up for everyday use. According to Tomoji Kawai, one of the study's senior authors, this is a promising development for making blue energy generators a reality. The ability to control the flow of ions in this way means we could soon see nanopore membranes used to harvest blue energy on a large scale. Chapter 6 why this matters? Blue energy could be a game changer in the global shift towards sustainable energy. As we move away from fossil fuels, finding new ways to generate power is essential. Nanopore osmotic power generators could help us tap into renewable ocean energy, which is abundant and reliable. This research opens up new possibilities for energy efficiency and brings us closer to a sustainable energy future. The technology is still in its early stages, but with these kinds of breakthroughs, we're seeing real progress. 
The work done by Osaka University's researchers shows just how innovative blue energy technology is becoming. We're excited to see how this breakthrough in voltage-controlled nanopore membranes could help bring blue energy into the mainstream. Source. Osaka University. So what you think about blue energy? Could it be the key to a sustainable future? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more updates on the latest scientific breakthroughs and tech innovations. Thanks for watching Trend Storm, and we'll see you next time.